this is a strange feeling. The part where the Astros are good, but not the best, or the part where Correa's Grand Slam wasn't somehow a walk-off in the ninth. You know, I'm not sure. They're both pretty darn weird. Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Astros, and I'm here to talk about the Astros and Twin series, which took place over the weekend. Once again, sorry for the tardiness of the video. Where the Astros lose two games to one, and they won the first game 13-12. God, that was very, very uncomfortable. And they would lose the second two, 9-3, and three to two. The series overall is an important lesson that the Astros had to learn, which is they're cooking right now. They were one of the hottest teams in baseball, probably the hottest team rolling into the series. And you know what? They managed to win a game. I give them credit for that. They got handled in the second game. I want to say it was seven on the board in the first three innings for the Twins. Hunter Brown start did not go wonderfully. And then you have the game Sunday, where you get walked off in the ninth inning. You bring in Hader in an unsafe situation. Hey, look at that. Play all the hits. And you lose the series. And you kind of get embarrassed in losing said series. Because the one game you did manage to win was a disaster. Where you give up seven runs in the ninth inning and come this close to blowing it. Including letting one of your former stars hit a grand slam in the ninth inning. That really made everyone go, oh, they're actually going to do this, yeah? Like, actually it's going to happen. Thankfully it didn't and you get one out of the series so it's not a complete waste of time. But there is a good, in my opinion, that should come from the series for the Astros. They're still a very good baseball team. And me watching the series, I don't think, oh no, they're not a good team anymore. Because overall, you have the Twins winning the second game by six runs. Had the Astros not just gotten way too cute in the ninth inning, they very easily could have won by eight. Both teams, in essence, had a blowout game. And then the third game comes down to the ninth inning where the Twins happen to walk it off. I'm not going to lose a ton of sleep over that if you look at it through that lens. You have to think about it in terms of the Astros are a good team, but they are no longer the alpha of the American League. They are above bad. I don't think there's a question of that, especially not past game, what, 26-27. The issue that the Astros are going to have to solve is how good do you really want them to be and how good are you? That's the big one. What moves do you make at the deadline? Do you become aggressive and go make these big time moves where you bring in big name players you go get a big piece or do you say kind kind of just stay where you are and trust in your team trust in your players that you've assembled trust in the core that has changed over the years but in essence is still good and see what happens in october i don't think either of those have i don't think there is a wrong answer to that by the way i think both of those are completely legitimate responses to it my biggest takeaway the Astros, once you do get to October, and this is relating back to the, they're good but not great. The lucky thing in baseball, very seldomly does the best team actually win the World Series in terms of if you look at the regular season. You can look at last year, or I want to say a couple of the best teams, the number one seed in the American League, the number one seed in the National League. I mean, both teams that made it to the World Series were wildcard teams. The Diamondbacks snuck in with like 85 wins and managed to win the pennant. The couple years before that, you had the Braves beating the Astros, ha. And they were, at that moment in time, they had become the worst team to win the World Series in terms of like general aura, beating out the 2019 Nationals, who also happened to beat, go figure, the Houston Astros. No one other than Houston knows better that being better than a team on paper or in terms of record means diddly nothing once the calendar becomes October. The Astros do not need to fret about that. They have enough resilience, they have enough strength at the core, and they have enough experience that I truly believe in a deep playoff series or in any playoff series, they have just as good a chance as anyone else. The big things is unlike series previous where we've kind of been able to laugh it off because other guys lower down in the lineup have really picked up the slack. Where we've been able to go, oh, ha, 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 Altuve didn't hit a home run in the entire postseason and they still won the World Series. Or, oh, ha, ha, Bregman had a bad series and they still managed to make it to blank. Jordan didn't have a home run in between blank and blank. I think it was game two of the ALDS and game six of the World Series. Ha, 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 isn't that so funny? The big time stars of this team meaning Altuve, meaning Bregman, meaning, meaning Jordan Alvarez, meaning Kyle Tucker, they don't have an opportunity anymore, in my opinion, 
to take a series off once the clock strikes October. The Astro success, unlike in years previous, where it's been this super deep team, it is going to have to be your big dogs, your big players, the stars of the team stepping up to the plate. Now, I know that that is a big, deep thought for a long time from now, but that is the biggest takeaway that I have walking away from the Twin series. The Twins aren't unbeatable. You put up 13 runs on them in game one, and you could have easily won by eight if you would have gotten one more out. They were a couple of strikes away from winning 13 to five. It very didn't go that way, but it very easily could have. The third game was a toss up. I don't leave this thinking, oh man, they're just so outclassed. I leave it under the thought process of, okay, they're good. Where do they go from there? The Astros obviously have today off, and tomorrow they will start a series back at Minute Maid Park against the Miami Marlins. So, at least you got that going for you. The Astros have not yet named a starter for that game, and the Marlins are going to send Trevor Rogers to the mound. The game is going to start at 8.10 Eastern, 7.10 Central. I'll be here afterwards to talk about it, but as for right now, that is all I have to say. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider to like and subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day, and as always, Ghost Rose.